Hi friends. Yep, I'm still here. This is Gail, Fava of Four. I've had so many things to try to catch up on that I just kind of took a break before I have to go have any more surgeries. So then I feel more comfortable if I make more of a mess. And I changed this craft room around. I cleaned it all and washed all the stuff and um, changed that lounger to over here. So at night I don't have to go up stairs or sit in the living room myself. I can come in here and watch TV. And uh, let me see. I'll show you. And I took the one big chair out of here. So I have to figure out what to do with my um yeah, my chandelier that I got. So, that's that side. Next time I'll do it from the other side. Okay. Anyway, my holder was dusty because I haven't done anything. I've made two things. I have sent out some packages with just materials and stuff, and I wanted to get most of that done because that was like driving me insane. Um, and it's taken me so long. It's so hot here. And it seems like I run out of energy so fast. So, I'm going to show you the couple things I made. And um, hopefully, I'll make more. This one thing I made was inspired by um, Roxy. Um, Roseanne. Roxy Carr 2, I think. No, 11. 11. I always get that wrong. Roxy Carr, 11. But I always call her Roxy. Sexy Roxy. Okay. And my problem is, I just start, I see something, I think, oh, I'm going to do something like this. But I did it differently than she did. In a different style. You know, that little miniature, um... Gypsy, I think it was a gypsy book that she made. Well, I made a little shabby chic one. And oh, I meant to show you what I made it out of. They gave me this little white sock to put over my foot. And it was this big and this wide. And I evened it off at the ends. And in the middle, um, I just hand sewed it back and forth in the middle and then cut it and that's what this is when she was showing the one she did with the sock and I know I do things differently you know probably okay there's the front I have a flower there and a pin and then I had a couple of these, so then I had a, a heart that I had made out of clay, and I painted it. And I put this little ribbon on it. And um, some flowers around it and a little bag. And then this is a bottle of Chanel, I think. And I put this bling. I put this little, that's kind of an old fashioned thing I had sent some people. This uh, little tassel. This, of course, this is. And then I had put this on the outside. Showing you both at the same time. And then I just love this stuff. People are probably getting sick of seeing it. And a 
little flower here um, from Donna. A uh, little, you know, she had those. And she, you put them together, and then I had this to put there. Let me see. And a little rose. And then a little bottom of a trim there. Then, I'm not sure I'm going to put the stick pin yet. I couldn't find it. And then I finally found it. And now before I did this, I lost it again. Because I had put a little pink on there. Um, here's the stick pin. I put a flower on it and then I put these around it. Just set that there. Okay. Then I had some of this trim I put on. I put my glasses on. A little piece of uh, scrap. Don't mind my hands. I pink and I can never get this stuff off. Um, a little. It was an earring. I stuck there. Then, here I had this, these little circles of really fine um, material that I put, I put some here too, and then I put a flower there, and I put a flower there, one of the, you know, the little material ones. And then here, um, I believe Roxy sent me that picture. And I put it in a heart and I put this little uh, bow there. And these two flowers with the dangles. And what else? And underneath it, there's a trim that I tried to put most everywhere, the trim with the, and I tried to cover things up where I made it crooked. And this just because the words. Then this page, whoa, did I say, I don't know. Anyway, I have the name on here, so I have to cover it up. I put that flower on. I put some um, pink uh, fringe around it. A little piece of scrap there. Little piece here. I put some of that. Um, oh, I don't know. It's just some kind of fluffy stuff with this. And then there's the picture of a lady. I'm not a picture, but it's a little plastic thing. Yeah, this pink is like, I don't, I don't really know. I can't remember. Then Look on this page here. There's a fan. And then if you see down by my finger, there's a little star. You know, those little... I made the little flower at the top. Okay. Then this page, I had gotten a piece... I didn't want to cut it up really. I had it in here for a long time sitting on something, but I cut this piece out of a really pretty, um, it's about as big as a, a mat, like a table mat, but it was um, gray, silver, and this person likes gray and pink. So anyway, I cut that out and I put it there. And I had a bracelet of mine that I took apart 
I put it there. And I had this flower. I'm going to put that in the middle and then more of this trim. So that's really all I did on that page because that flower seemed pretty big. Then, I, you know, that's more of this trim. And, and I, I don't think I showed you under this, in the, under this flower in the corner, I put some of this dangle. Okay, I made like a pocket here, and I don't know, I just, and then I had some of these, they can take them out if they want to, put something else in there. I just stuck them in there. And there's that trim again. And this is like a grayish, I love that color, like a lilac or whatever. A little flower, a little bling, and uh, that's the little pocket. Then on this side, I put my stomach's growling. Oh, I put, I had cut half of this embellishment I had. And then in this part of it, I put those little bling things. And then this button, I believe Roxy gave me, and I added this. I have a, um, I, uh, Eiffel Tower. Oh, I really can't see. And then I put two or three of the connectors underneath here. With another little piece of scrap up there from a, a little hoarding. Well, I thought I had myself all covered with everything shut off, but a phone call came in. And I put this here. I found a um, an app that's called something splicer, so I can splice them together without all that hullabaloo, part one, part two. And I put this little piece on here. And I put this all at the top. I didn't put anything on the sides. I don't know if I should or not. It's a little uneven. And then this is a little bit of that from that dress that I got a long time ago that I just love because it's it's old. A flower. I put a couple of these little plastic ones that I'd ordered. Um, this is from some trim. I got, um, I just had her card out too. I, and I'm not sure if she still has her store or not. And there's a butterfly under here. And I've had this little flower for a long time. I stuck that in there. And it's just a little paper bird that I put some stuff on it to stiffen it up just a little. It's not really that stiff. Um, and underneath here, I put a piece of this blouse I had taken apart a long time ago. So, push this in. 
that's the back of it. So I've never done, I really haven't done many books at all. But when she showed what she did with that sock, I'll have to show you the sock next time. Because he gave me a bunch of them. And it was just like the right size. And as soon as I saw her do hers, I thought, hmm, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it differently. Like I said, I put all this up here. And then I hung this. The uh, dragonfly and this bell that's hooked to here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And I think I showed you this little thing I hung on there. I just love this trim. I think I, I think I got it at Holly Lobby a long time ago. And I kind of hoard it. And I showed you, I think I showed you this bling I put there. So, that was my take on a miniature sock book. Like I said, I, I never do things really the way everybody else does them. But I just have to um, go with what I see. I walk around and I look at things and I think, hmm, maybe I should put this there. Maybe I should put that there. And then I don't know if I'll put a closure on it, something to close it up or not. And at first, it's like most people would might think, well, that's a pretty big flower. I don't know. I liked it. And I've had this pin. I have a lot of pins and necklaces and stuff. As a matter of fact, all my chains and necklaces, if anyone needs any chain, I mean, I have wide chain. Just, I have every chain there is. If you have a little patience, I can send you some. But right now it's all in a glob in there until I put it back on. Something to hang. So. I hope she likes it. You know, I, I don't usually make too many things. I'm too busy sending out materials and stuff to people. Then I made this for someone. I remember when I made that one um, with the uh, moss on top. Well, I decided just to keep that and put some air plants. I glued some air plants on it. So I, I made something different. I had, I had this. Um, I had gotten at the thrift store one day. And it's been sitting on my desk. So I made a, a, um, a pin cushion out of it. And I didn't want to mess it up too much because it's pretty. And plus, if I use any color, I screw it up. But I put the gold on. I put this on and painted it a little bit of pink. I took the flowers that were on here and made them a little pink. And then added a few. Inside, what I did, and it, it's not like smooth. I used um, my, uh, you know, the round styrofoam because that's what I think works the best. The pins stick in them the easiest. And I cut two and then cut one and a half, glued them together. Then I covered it with this really shabby looking material I had. And then on top of that, I put like a pink netting. I don't know, just something different. It, it's not real smooth, see, it, you can tell. It's, 
like folded. And then I put this little trim around it. But then I didn't think it looked like enough, so I put this behind it. And I put this on top. That's another piece of something like I put on the other one. And then I put a flower on each end. I don't know. I, I didn't want to do it up too much, but I, it was pretty plain. And I put this around it. And I put this gold on. I colored the hair a little. What I did was glue and then I put some um, they're not beads. What is it? I did to just shake out. <laughs> and then I made I made oh well I won't take it out now. I just stuck these in there. This stick pin. And I made this stick pin. I made this a while back. And I think I made, it was in here, but I'm the only one that I've seen with this kind of thing. I think I made this one a while back. And then I put one of Rose, uh, Roxy's in. They think they're adorable. I just got done saying they're going easy, but If the materials too doubled up so that's the top I don't think that looks like too much these are the wings and they had little like dots around here so I put this on and just made it a little a little pink and those pretty flowers were all there I made just a little pink on the edges and a little one of those little things we all like that are becoming harder to find and this if you can see that's purplish and pink so this goes to a friend hope she likes it. She was going to get the furry one, but I just thought it was too different. Some, I think some people thought it was just weird, but I like it. I stuck my, I should have brought it in here, showed you that I put my, um, uh, I put three uh, air plants in it you just have to glue them in so what's that there's so many cute things out there and I put a little bit of this in the middle so that's it I hope she likes it um, I did make one tiny little card but I'd sent it and I think that's probably all I've done sometimes I forget and I just send the stuff and don't you know of course I haven't done videos for a while it's just so darn hot here and I wanted to get everything straightened up so that I could um, sit and make stuff without having to uh, think about the mess. You know, when you procrastinate, or rather than procrastinate, I can only do a little bit every day. My back would really start to hurt and I'd get really tired. 
and then I'd lay down and then that would be it um, and then I see I'll show you the side might as well things I brought from upstairs. Now that room I still have some things to I still have some things to do. And I just I should use that really for more storage because I got that at that one antique store and really cheap and I don't keep that much in it and what I did was oh, and I don't think I ever I don't know if I ever showed you guys this I got last time I was somewhere so I put it there and I brought that robe down. Remember that old time robe? Just reminds me of somebody a long time ago walking with the, you know, the lantern. And for some reason, it remind it just reminded me, I don't know why, of Trisha, my little shabby chic. Maybe because of the things she makes. Now, of course, I still have this to cut up. What, where is it? Where to go? It's hard to do this backwards. Yeah. The bride thing. And until I find a better place, um, that's what Roxy had sent me. Sure, you've all seen it. Isn't that beautiful. So I hung it there for now. I was thinking of putting it on a background of uh, something. And I took that table that I had and put it here. And that's the napkin thing that um, Karen Brake had made me. And the book that's, well, you know, Roxy made that. Well, I don't know how much of it you missed, but I was just showing you my room and all of a sudden I see that it said zero, so. I better go, and I'll be splicing again. I thought I had myself covered, and I didn't. Okay, guys, it was nice to see you all again, and now you know I'm alive. And um, I keep meaning to call the doc. I have to do that today, call a doctor for my gallbladder, at least get that out of the way. My friend said, a friend of hers, did get an infection because she didn't have hers out and a fever and they had to take her appendix out and she's laid up for like four months huh. so that scared me a little so i'll be doing that okay i'll talk to y'all later nice seeing you hope you like my couple little things i made love you all bye